Gather round, the shoveled ones, and welcome to Horror Buddies. Yeah, we're wanting to send out a happy Friday 13th to all the shoveled ones out there. Yes. Heck yeah. What are we going to do whenever there's no more Friday the 13th to watch when we've done them all? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, rewatch them, I guess. Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe rewatch them with some special guests Revisit, with us. Revisit, yeah. yeah. See yeah. What, what we think then versus now versus then, yeah. Yep. Okay. And, and, and one thing, like, you know, Jason goes to hell, you know, we weren't able to stream that together. So we definitely... Yeah. We'll definitely have to revisit that Yeah, I think that I was one. sick then or something. Yeah. Something happened. We got a few more to go. Tonight, we're going to be watching Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. Yeah, and this kind of starts a trilogy, you know. Well, yeah, about that. Fans got pissed, and guess yeah. what? Fucked it up for everyone else. Yeah. We didn't get a trilogy out of it. They yeah. brought Jason back. I know, man. They should have just done it anyway. It's kind of like people that don't care about Eric Singer being Peter Chris. Yeah. Let those enjoy it. And the ones that don't know how to, you know, watch Fuck, it. I fucking A, man. I agree. I, I agree. Them. So this one was released in uh, March 22nd, 1985. And it was directed by Danny Steinman. He done a Linda Blair movie called Savage Street. Maybe? Yeah. Something like that. It's not really really it's not like uh horror it's more no, of a um, teen vignette kind of thing yeah whatever yeah um i don't know much about them i do know that this had some controversial shit in it like uh yeah there was actually a three minute love scene sex scene whatever yeah. you want to call it yeah you get and a lot they, of that in there they Please. had to fucking yeah x that shit from, yeah. from a three minute fucking love making <laughs> scene to like 10 seconds yeah well, Steinman, he made a couple of porn films. In, yeah, in well, well, this is like, uh, well, last year we had somebody that was a porno maker, too. Yeah, so. yeah. So he was used to that. And, yeah. And then, no, oh, man, you can't, we're doing horror, but it's going to come out in the box office, you know? Yep. And uh, so he had, to, he had to cut some shit, you know? Yep. I don't know about you, ma'am. <clears throat> I'm ready to see these motherfuckers. Well, oh, we God. already on the couch, yeah. so. <laughs> we'll, see we'll see you see back you on the couch. <laughs> back on the couch. <laughs> Corey talk here. <laughs> yeah. So we get Corey Feldman back in this little flashback intro. Yeah. I love Corey Feldman. I think he did a good Tommy. A good little Tommy. He did. He did. He's but brilliant, dude. With them wanting to fast forward Tom, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was a little too young to... And this was probably, what, about the time he was doing Stand By Me and Lost Boys, too. Yeah, yeah, probably. Because they came out, what, two years later? Yeah, uh, yeah, Lost Boys two years after this. Yeah. So. I heard that, like, kind of like some of the behind-the-scenes filmmaking bullshit on this, that there was a lot of hard drugs involved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of debauchery, man. Yeah. That's the thing I love about this one, man. But this one's sleazy. We yeah. love it sleazy. Yeah. That's what I love about it. Friday 13th. All of them have some kind of different, they have different elements in every one, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And all of them are good. I mean, you know, well, I don't. I wouldn't say all of them are good, but you know, they're, they're <laughs> still you. it's still Friday Thirteenth, man. You know. So we have uh, grown up Tommy now. So in this movie alone, hey, not not. Did you say that? Not and, man. Yeah, not man. Not right behind man. her. Not. not hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking love it. Me too. Not man was see, awesome. See, watch as she moves. You'll see fucking not man. Yeah. Right yeah, there. Yeah. Right fucking there. Yeah, a little death thingy, man. Yeah, that so if you're if you're a Thrax cool. fan and you're in there where Tommy goes into there with a... Look at you. You'll see the not man. You'll see you see like the little not man uh head over there. That would be Fuck so yes. cool to have, dude. Yeah. So John Shepard uh is playing Tommy. Uh you had Corey Feldman playing young Tommy. Yep. And then Tom Matthews plays Tommy. In like, um, like part six. So yeah, yeah. Three, three fuckers playing Tommy here. <laughs> Tommy Jarvis, yeah. very important character. Oh yeah. In um, uh, Friday the Thirteenth, and hopefully, if New Line gets off their fucking ass and actually makes a movie, and we're not just talking about the Crystal Lake TV show. Yeah. Where I guess the show could have Tommy stuff. It probably won't. I don't know. I wonder what we're gonna get. Bron Fuller. I love Bron Fuller. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of wonder where we're have, gonna where we're gonna get. Have with they even that started show. making it yet? Like well, uh, the movie. What? 
Well, well, no, no. The 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 movie the movie's been teased by Nuon yeah. on yeah. their Instagram. Then it fucking disappeared, and that's fucking weird. They've also announced a Peacock show. I uh, know. I think it's a Paramount Plus yeah. show. Yeah. For Crystal Lake. Yeah. Uh, like a like a series. Yeah. And it's going to be uh, led by Bron Fuller. Oh man, cool. So Bron Fuller did uh, the Hannibal show. Yeah. He also did uh, like. That's uh, right. Yeah. Pushing Daisies. It's gonna be doing this. Uh, apparently, they have rights to like do a bunch of shit. Like you know, they can have Jason. Yeah. You know? And I, and I, I think it's a, a Victor a Victor Miller thing too. It's it's not oh, a, a cool. Sean Cunningham thing. <laughs> yeah. But he does have access to anything. Doesn't mean that we'll get anything, especially yeah. if we're looking at an origin. Yeah. Uh, but it would be cool, yeah. man. Because I mean, like you have important <laughs> characters in. The uh, the Friday the Thirteenth mythos, yeah, like Tommy Jarvis. We, yeah, I would love an origin story of Tommy, even though that we, would be cool. We pretty much kind of got that with a uh, final chapter, anyway. Yeah, but they could go but, more in depth with yeah. it, you know, more, more depth to his character. And, yeah, that would be cool. I agree. There's a uh, what's his name? I can't remember this guy's name. I was in different strokes. Yeah, he played Dudley, uh, yeah. Arnold's little friend, Gary Coleman's best friend. Mm-hmm. That is a scary ass mask. I know. It reminds me of one of the Guar movies, dude. Mm. One of the freaky ass movies with Guar movies, man. Like Skullhead Face. Yeah, dude. Phallus of Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, that does straight up look like something out of Skullhead Face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, all these cron ass fucking fans that want to bitch, oh, it's not Jason. You still had the Tommy connection. Right, yeah. A fucking, you know. Yeah. It's like all these cron ass fans for the Halloween ends. And I understand. You don't like, you don't like it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, there are some people. Uh, yeah, man, most people that, think that they should have been with that. And I don't, I yeah, don't like that. Yeah, I fucking loved it. I'm with I'm with Ralph James White, dude. He was saying, you know, I like the, the '80s love story that came with mm-hmm, it. And mm-hmm. I love that kind of shit. And like, they they were just mad because it was different from How We Kills, you know? Yeah, and it, it was like they're the Michael Myers purist, and yeah, you yeah. know, Michael Myers really wasn't in the movie yeah. all that much, you know. Yeah. I mean, I understand, but you know. Get your bitch in somewhere else. Yeah. You know, the professor said that he, he posted two end of the year uh, videos. One where he talks about the best magic cards. And the, the second one where he talks about the worst magic cards. Do you yeah. know which one got more hits? The worst. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we don't get enough hits. Because we're <laughs> so too many positive. Pessimist, man. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys that do watch us and gives us those thumbs up, comments and stuff like that. Thank you. Yeah. Totally. Thank you for sticking with positivity. Even though I mean oh, we are positive. known to bitch. We are known to rant. Yeah. We do that shit. But usually it's not about the movies, it's about the people that watch the fucking movies. <laughs> <laughs> Power of positivity. Horror buddy's rock. <laughs> <laughs> The dude that plays Joey, he's actually, he directed a movie called Hard Rock Nightmare. So, oh, wow. that's straight up, that's straight up horror buddies bullshit out yeah, right there. So, we is. definitely need to watch Hard that. Rock Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. He's got chocolate all over his mouth. These are some really cool characters in this, man. So, the guy that plays Vic played Suicide in Return of the Living Dead. Oh, wow. Uh, the original Return of Living Dead. Yeah. That's fucking... Oh, that's cool. That's crazy. Which sucks, dude, because, I mean, he fucking died. Like, I think he was only, like, 35 years old. Yeah. He died of leukemia. Oh. Back in 1996. Yeah. So, basically, 11 years after this movie was made, he died. Roy did not look happy about that. Hmm. Uh-huh. Don't to why. Another one bites and does. Yes. I love that reveal. Where Lana's sitting there, she's about to do drugs. Yeah. You know, in a horror movie, you never do drugs. Yeah, you die as soon as you do it. Really. <laughs> like, she's going down there to get the coke, and then she looks up, and uh, you see uh, you see an axe dripping with blood. I fucking love Yeah, that, that was a good shot, dude. That is so fucking awesome. That was super cool. So Tommy, Tommy keeps having like fucking flashes yeah, of, of Jason. So you, so you get the real Jason there. Yeah. In his mind. Yeah. Because if you notice, his Jason has the red on the mask. Right, yeah. Where Roy's is blue. Yeah. Always remember that, kids. If you ever see a Jason mask right. and it's got the red on it, you know you're seeing a, a Jason mask. Jason Roy. If you see a Friday the 13th mask with the blue on it, you got Roy Burns. Yeah. 
Remember that. I should have got a Roy Burns pop. <laughs> you did? And, yeah, and it fucking says Jason Voorhees on it. I'm like, God damn it, Hot Topic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This is the first time that they actually refer to Jason as Jason Voorhees and not just Jason. Yeah. So, like, in the first movie, in the second movie, it's just, you know, they talk about Jason, right? Yeah. Well, Jason in the first one being, you know, the son of... You know, yeah, only when I say Voorhees. Yeah, but, but then, you know, with this one, they actually just say the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Jason Voorhees. Yeah, that's strange. See, that's uh, Tina, right? Yeah, that must be her. Did you, what did you say the God Girl's name was? Her name's Violet. Violet, yeah. yeah so Tina, her name is uh, Deborah Voorhees. Well, like her real name is Deborah Voorhees. Really? Yeah. She was in that uh, Fanboy 13, which I've still not seen. Let us know down in the comments. You would like to see the Horror Buddies take on, like, you know, some sort of fan yeah. film. So this is the love scene that supposedly had, like, three minutes <laughs> Yeah, he's let's just go full porno with it. And they're like, no, you can't do it. <laughs> So if you're, if you're a peeping Tom, Roy will come for you. Oh, God damn in the guts. Hell yeah. I got my dick wet and I need to go wash up. I need to wash up. <laughs> yeah. Nice boobages. Yeah. So this was um, Deborah's uh, first day on the set. Yeah. This scene. You gotta take your clothes off. <laughs> yeah. Don't have any problem with nudity, do you? No. But, <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful view. I mean, I think they yeah. did, you know. They got it really good, you know. Before this happened. <laughs> the burning. I mean, it's one of those, like, did they edit that out? Or did they just get cheap and didn't want to do it, so they just kind of bloody it up? Yeah. That way they don't have to actually fucking show the death scene. Yeah. Or did they film the actual death scene? It'd get like, well, we're already going to give you an X, so you need to cut that. I bet that's what happened. Dude, if you've ever seen the Japanese uh, fucking uh, poster... For a new beginning. It's actually this with his fucking Oh yeah Eddie's fucking eyes being fucking Yeah twisted up in that fucking yeah. leather thing. That's so it's crazy. fucking brutal, dude. Yeah, that shit's heavy. Man. That, that's the thing, man. Those Japanese posters, they're fucking hardcore. Yeah. Fucking demon has it all, man. He's got the fucking enchiladas, he's got the fucking tacos, he's got the fucking pizzas, Jeez, the fucking pizza. egg rolls. <laughs> She's I mean, a he's sausage got, man. God damn, man. He's got everything. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's badass, man. He, mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. He's got to get up. Oh, dude. He's cool. All right. So, we really didn't get any ass to buddies this week. So, let me give us a... Let me give us what? <laughs> Fago Lover for Life Ask us, have the horror buddies ever used a porta potty to take a shit in? Oh, uh, the answer would be yes. Have you? Really? Oh, uh, when we went camping that time up in uh, North Carolina. Really? See, I didn't even shit, dude. I I am I'm particular whenever I where I take a oh, shit. Oh, you're right. I think I just piss. I don't think I shit. I think I just piss. Yeah, I've I've pissed in a few porta potties. Yeah. I have never taken a shit. In no, no, I don't think I've ever shit because I just can't bring myself. I know. I can't. I can't put fucking my ass do on it, that dude. Shit, man. No. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's some smooth shit. Those damn know. enchiladas done fucked him up. Yeah. He's out there shitting in a goddamn port. I, I mean, guess if it hit me and I had to like that, I probably would, but I don't know. Like, I mean, I've never shit outside, dude. I've never shit yeah, in never a shit. fucking bag. I've shit in a gas station before. Where it sucks that they didn't continue on with this storyline. I know. We did get Jason Lives. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, that Even is. Though, you know, I think Jason Lewis could have been a little bit more bloody. The Blu-ray, we're watching the Scream Factory Blu-ray yeah. um, for the, the, the box set. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. it looks it looks really good. Look nice. It looks really good. For a motherfucking movie that came out in 1985, this looks fucking pristine. I was asking Doug earlier if he had a soundtrack. He did like 2,000 of them. Or he did. Uh, but it, he did they, the ones he did, one through, I think this one. Five, yeah. And uh, that come out in 2012, and you can't probably find them because there's only 2,000 of them. That dude. would be cool. And you said they were on vinyl, too, right? Yeah. 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 I wish I could score that, dude. Yeah, that'd be a sick vinyl to have. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes shit. Apple's old man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you about to be cold, Ethel. You know what time it is? 
Is it that time again? I think it is that time. Yeah. So, you're watching a fine movie. You find a movie with heroes like Demon in it. Yeah. And Demon, like we like we mentioned earlier, brought all this shit. Yes. Demon only brought us one thing. He, he brought, brought us, us the damn enchiladas. Enchiladas. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Made him blow dump. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so... If we're uh, killed tonight in a porta potty, yeah, you know why. <laughs> you know where to find us. Poor demon man. Gotta put my specialty on it. Gotta add a little bit of more. Oh sauce. yes, Ortega. Hell yeah. Ortega's where it is mm. at. Insane. Well, I thank oh, you for God. this. Uh, <laughs> Good. Nice little, uh, mm. Mexicone dental. Yeah. It's so good. <clears throat> so we didn't get any more questions or not? Nope, no questions. Damn. It's got a, a bit of a kick, you know. Yeah. It's uh, enchilada sauces. Mm. It's oh, good. dude, i I love Mexican food. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Chick got some major hair going on, man. She does. She's got the 80s. Mm hmm. Remember, I dated a girl named Sharon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, had her like that shit. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. What do you think about the mullet coming by? Do you like... Well, it uh, it has its place. Yeah. Dominic uh, Mysterio, he's rocking that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does rock it, man. Yeah, Eddie always rocks it, too. He, he did. You thinking about rocking it again? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Hell would kick your butt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Producer Jamie would, she'd have my nuts in a sack. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Pseudo echo. Yeah. Some good old pop. Yeah. She's like dancing around, doing the robot. That was some yeah, cool so, shit. So right now they're just trying to fake you out, make you think, well, Tommy's the one doing all the killing. Mm-hmm. Which is, that's crazy, yeah. Spoiler alert, guys. I know we've said it all fucking episode, but <laughs> yeah. it was not Tommy. Not Tommy. It's fucking Roy. Yeah. I like that, though, the mystery thing element to this, man. There, Roy did fucking crash to the fucking front door. Yeah. Door. <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously he's going to crash through the front door because he's already been inside the house. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> got to make a fucking grand Triple H entrance, though. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember if Reggie makes it through this or not. Like, he, uh, you don't remember? I can't remember. Last time I seen it was over here. Cause man, they don't stream this on shit. Like, I think it's on uh, YouTube and Vudu, where you got to pay for it, and uh, Amazon Prime, which don't have any of those. So my question is: Does Roy drive around? Like, can you just imagine Roy driving around that fucking ambulance, like in yeah, Jason? Yeah. To get up. Hell yeah, that'd be cool. Turn the siren on. You know, we've had Jason versus Freddy. Yes. Dude, would that not be amazing to have Roy versus fucking Corey? Yep. Hell yeah. It would be good. That's a good fucking good you know, idea. I guess man. we see where Matt is. Yeah. Fucking railroad uh, fucking <laughs> yeah. spike through the fucking forehead. Yeah. Who do you think will win that, man? Corey or Roy? Well... They're both pretty emo. Yeah. We both know that. I'd have to go maybe with Roy. I don't know. I would I would, I would. go Roy as well. If I had to put my money on it, you know? Yeah. I, mean? I, I would uh, definitely have to go Roy. He, yeah. He's, he's... I mean, he's fucking pissed, dude. Not yeah. that Corey wasn't, but... Yeah. But he definitely... Corey was more of a victim in a different way. Yeah. Roy has something against Oz. Yeah. Because that's like the third fucking body that he's fucked up the eyes. Yeah, on. yeah. So I know Violet's not with us anymore. Yeah. But I did have a little 
cool little factoid about her. Uh, a movie that she was in, well, was a movie that's dear to my heart. She was fan number two and hard to hold. Oh. Did you ever see that movie with Rick Springfield? The Rick Springfield movie? I think hard so. To hold? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that was a good movie, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she uh, she actually she was like a, a fan in that movie. Yeah, she was also in uh, Reform School Girls. So oh yeah, I've cool. heard a lot about. I've never seen that, but I've heard a lot about it. That one's that one's cool. Yeah. Ooh baby, ooh baby, ooh baby, ooh baby, ooh baby, ooh baby. Let's wrap it up. All right, so Friday the Thirteenth, five, a new beginning. So, where do you think it would have went if the trilogy really did start there? I don't think Tommy would have became Jason. I don't you don't? I don't know. I mean, I think it's some, I think he might have been You think they would have went? Because he, he, he woke up. I think he might have been dreaming that he woke up. And, okay. So, you think they would have went with the whole Halloween 4 to Halloween 5 where you think that Jamie Lloyd is going to be the new Michael and you just they, the payoff isn't there. Yeah, I think I would like to think that I, I would like to think he's a good guy deep down Tommy. You know? Oh, he's not a I'm, mm, Did you see the way he fought? I mean, I think oh, yeah, I think yeah. the whole this whole movie was leading up to Yeah, he did the low blow the dude yeah, in the leg. It's like it was just leading up to they were wanting to fake you out that Tommy was a killer. I, yeah. I do know that. Yeah. But I think deep down inside somebody's head, they really wanted Tommy to be the killer. Yeah, uh, you might like, be right. They didn't fucking laugh in his dream. But in all honesty, it, this was actually a middle of a trilogy. Because if you think about it, final chapter, final then, chapter you had, then you had, the they had this one. And, and then the six, yeah. you know, and it had Tommy Jarvis. Too. Yeah, so yeah. you you really did get a, you got the Tommy yeah, trilogy in a roundabout. Yeah, yeah. Way, yeah. So you might be right though, because I mean, he did he did clip the dude in the leg with a knife and uh, and that laugh at the end that that had to mean something, you know, like yeah, that was just that was, that was the most probably one of the most psychotic laughs I've ever heard, man. So what do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments. Did you do you like this movie? Yeah. Uh, are you one of the haters? Uh, Which mask do you like better? Well, obviously, <laughs> yeah, the people red. are gonna yeah, go red. Oh, no, shit. no, obviously, Uber Jason from Jason X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to do that one, man. Oh God, that one's gonna be a hot ass mess. We. we <laughs> We need we need we need shots of something that night. Yeah. We, we oh need yeah. Some Jägermeister right here to get through that. Yeah. 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 No, nah, not to get through it. I think I think it's a fun movie. Uh, it's just yeah. It's just it's, it's <laughs> dumb fun. Yeah. I mean, so the um, guy that so plays Demon, he was in Leprechaun uh, Goes to Space. Oh, I cool. forgot about that yeah. until we just mentioned Jason X. Yeah. Uh, he was also DJ in uh, St uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on uh, uh, I done a uh, a video with Wacky uh, for for like the the action hero uh, action movie Christmas special he did. Yeah. And uh, we we actually talked about uh, uh, Street Fighter. You know, being oh, kind of yeah. kind of one of those movies that we love. Uh, well, yeah, man, it just goes back to that '80s love, man. You know. Yeah, but that was '90s. Though. Oh yeah, I guess it yeah, was. It yeah. was '90s. I remember me, you, me, you, and uh, me, you, and Randy went to go see Randy, that, and yeah. then we ended up in uh, Taco Bell afterwards. Yeah, Taco Bell, and, and, and we're, we're fucking just we're being teenage dudes, just fucking hyped off of so Street, fucking Street Fighter, Fighter and tacos. movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, he did play DJ. I'm trying to remember what he looked like. I'm going to have to go back and see what. Yeah, yeah. We need to revisit that one. Yeah, that was man, that definitely. was a fun a fun flick. Yeah. Uh, so my favorite kill was Junior. Uh, I just love the head Junior. wobbling, dude. I mean, you guy got decapitated, and yeah. the head's just that they're spinning. Yeah, I, I just I love it. It's fun. 
Junior, man, it was cool. Uh, what was yours? Ah, man, I like the uh, thing down the throat. I like that one, the uh, flare down the throat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was one more I really liked. But I'd have to go with the flare. I love that. that yeah. just, I no, wish the flare be... scene, I wish they would have waited a little longer, let him explode, or his head explode or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I was a budget <laughs> concern or a, yeah. oh, we can't be too Yeah, violent. cut, yeah. 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 Um, well, guys, I like always, I plead... And I beg, and I really, really, really want you guys to be spooky and stay spooky out there. Yeah, and watch out for outhouses. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, Don't go shit in outhouses. No way. Horror buddies. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. I'm doing this tonight, huh? Baby, bye, bye. <laughs>